Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora and this is Senior Moments to Remember. Thank you so much for joining us today. It is a pleasure to have you and we're looking forward to having a wonderful time with you as we worship the Lord, read His Word, pray together, and do all the many other fun stuff that we do here in Senior Moments to Remember. Now before we start, we'd like to ask if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. Or if you just want to say hi, give a shout out to your friends or to your loved ones anywhere around the world, and let us know also where you're at. It's always wonderful to hear from you. Let's open in prayer. Father, I lift up to you my brother, my sister, and I pray that as we come together in your name right now, let your presence, O Lord, bless them. Let your presence cover them, strengthen them, fill their hearts with joy. We thank you so much that when we come into your presence, Lord, everything about this earth, they become shadows. And Lord, we just want to be focused at the light that you have, at the light that you bring into our lives. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's come to the presence of God and worship Him. Give thanks to the Lord our God and King. Give thanks to the Lord our God and King. Love endures forever, for His good is above all things. His love endures forever. Sing praise, sing praise. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, His love endures forever. For the life that's been reborn His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Forever God is faithful Forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever and ever. Forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever and ever. Forever. From the rising, from the rising to the setting sun, His love endures forever. And by the grace of God, we will carry on. His love endures forever. Sing praise. God is with us forever and ever. Forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong. Forever God is with us forever and ever. Forever. Love endures forever. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. Yes, His love endures forever. His love endures. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. Oh, His love endures forever. Sing praise. Sing praise. 
Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey, and this is your wow moment, wow meaning words of wisdom. And we know that wisdom is important to you because you have lived it. You have proven it. And now you are enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Our wow moment for today will be starting again in Psalm 103, verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgives all your iniquity who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Do you remember last year, the first part of the quarantine and no one was able to go out? And do you remember if there is, when your grandkids were just telling you what is it that they missed the most, maybe a favorite food, maybe ice cream, and it started in March last year. It was warm and they're looking for something cold to eat. And do you remember after, well, several weeks that maybe one of your family members were able to go out and maybe they brought home the ice cream that your grandkids were, were waiting for and they enjoyed, they ate that ice cream. Do you remember looking at the satisfaction on their faces? They did not care about anything else that were brought home. All they cared about was that ice cream that they were satisfied with, that, that they were just very, very happy eating. But I know you are missing something. In the first parts of the quarantine, you, like many others, were missing being in the house of God. Now, we are so blessed that Pastor Samral and Sister Bev, starting in day one, they immediately went online so that they can do morning devotions and then online services with us but it's still, you missed being in the house of God physically. You missed being in your father's house. And do you remember when some of you were already able to come to the house of God? How joyful you were when you were finally in the house of God? Some of you even cried the first time that you went into the house of God. And you were just satisfied. You were just happy. It did not matter if it was warm. It didn't matter if it was not the same. It, it didn't matter if it was not perfect, but you were just in the house, in the presence of God, and you were satisfied. Satisfaction is a gift from God. Satisfaction is a blessing from God. Satisfaction makes your soul rest. That's why Proverbs 19 verse 23 says, The fear of the Lord leads to life, and whoever has it rests satisfied. He will not be visited by harm. Psalm 107 verses 8 to 9. Let them thank the Lord for His steadfast love, for His wondrous works to the children of man. For He satisfies the longing soul, and the hungry soul He fills with good things. So when the Lord satisfies you, when the Lord brings things to you, He doesn't bring you the leftovers. He brings you good things. Again, Psalm 107 verse 9. For He satisfies the longing soul and the hungry soul He fills with good things. Psalm 65 verse 4. Blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the holiness of your temple. Again, God will not satisfy you with leftovers. God will satisfy you with all the good things in his house. You are satisfied with His love. 
Love is a good thing, right? And God's love is the best thing. Psalm 90 verse 14, Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Sometimes when people wake up, the first thing they turn on are the news. And when they hear the news, what do they normally hear? Oh, updates with COVID, death here, rates going up there, bad news. But when we open our eyes, we get up out of our beds, and you are able to move around, what is the first thing that you do? You turn on morning devotions. You turn on Daniel's prayer. You come immediately to the presence of God. Why? Because you want to be satisfied with the steadfast love of God in the morning. It's the very first thing that you reach out for, the love of God in the morning. And you will never go wrong being satisfied with the satisfaction that God brings you with His steadfast love. You're also satisfied with the long life that God gives you. Psalm 91 verse 16, With long life I will satisfy Him and show Him my salvation. Satisfaction, when God gives it to you, it brings you strength. It renews you, rejuvenates you, makes you feeling young. Psalm 103 verse 5, Who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Have you seen people who have not been satisfied? People who maybe they have a lot of things. Maybe they have a lot of possessions. Maybe they, 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 they have a lot of money. But if there is no satisfaction in their hearts coming from the Lord, they're empty. They're always looking for something. They look old. They look dry. They look unhappy. It's because in their hearts, they are not satisfied. This is not the will of God for you. God brings you satisfaction. And that is why Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. You will be very lively. You will be so energetic. You will be so happy. And why is that? Because of the satisfaction that God brings to your life. This has been your one moment and our prayer for you is that as you continue in wisdom, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years ahead of you will even be more fruitful. God bless you. Moments to remember. Hello, wonderful exemplars. This is Pastor Paula and welcome to another Sababa Moment. For today, we will continue our journey to the city of David. Right? So the story of the city of David began over 3,000 years ago when King David left the city of Hebron for a small hilltop city known as Jerusalem, establishing it as the unified capital of the tribes of Israel. Years later, David's son, King Solomon, built the first temple next to the city of David on top of Mount Moriah, the site of the binding of Isaac, and with it, this hilltop became one of the most important sites in the world. Today, the story of the city of David continues. Deep underground, the city of David is revealing some of the most exciting archaeological finds of the ancient world, while above the ground, the city is a vibrant center of activity with a visitor center that welcomes visitors for an exciting tour to the site where much of the Bible was written. And we will talk more about the city of David with you in the next episode of Sababa. But for today, let us look at 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 1 to 6. And we will look at the place where it all began. As they always say in the city of David. Let's read it in the New International Version. It says here, All the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron and said, We are your own flesh and blood. In the past, while Saul was king over us, you were the one who led Israel on their military campaigns, and the Lord said to you, You will shepherd my people Israel, and you will become their ruler. When all the elders of Israel had come to King David at Hebron, the king made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned 40 years in Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem, he reigned over all Israel and Judah 33 years. 
So in verse 6, it says here, The king and his men marched to Jerusalem to attack the Jebusites who lived there. The Jebusites said to David, You will not get in here. Even the blind and the lame can ward you off. They thought David cannot get in here. Nevertheless, David captured the fortress of Zion, which is the city of David. So if you go to Israel today, you will often see the name David everywhere. And there is this King David Hotel, David's Citadel, David this and that. And even the name David was the most used name in Israel. He became the shepherd God wanted him to be for Israel. He was a wise and a strong man of God. And he is a man after God's own heart. He made Israel and Jerusalem a place where everything that is in it right now began from his leadership. In relation to us, dear exemplars, have we conquered our giant? Have we captured our city which God has promised to us? No matter what giants and cities that we are going to conquer, it is never too late to go for it. So just like how David did, we will continue to move forth to where God wants us to be, to be who God wants us to be, and to be the start of whatever revival it will bring forth in the lives of our families. Now that is Sababa. Thank you so much, exemplars, for your time, and I hope to see you again next time in our next Sababa lesson. This is Pastor Paula. God bless you, exemplars. Bye! Moments to remember He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence, and he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the, sh nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the ardor, and the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he boldly, boldly passed to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91 Moments to remember Good morning! Welcome to Golden R. I'm Pastora Babes. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing Old Rugged Cross. Where? 
Accompanied by tambourine and harp. Come and dance along. I'm Pastor Latin Gatchalian and welcome once again to our prayer time. We are always grateful that you are sending your prayer requests with us. It is such an honor to pray for you. So how do we pray? Fervently and with joy. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your grace throne today and we are so humbled by your goodness and by your faithfulness in our lives. Father, truly, without you and apart from you, we are nothing. But we know, God, that every time we call upon your name, you are there to listen and to answer our prayers. Father, we thank you for Sister Omega Huliganga as you continuously bless and protect her family and friends. Thank you, Lord, that wherever they go, your hedge of protection will always go before them. Thank you, Lord God, for prospering all the work of their hands. And thank you, Lord, for keeping them far from any kind of sickness, from any kind of disease. We also thank you, Lord God, for Sister Malin Castor, that God, you will continue to give her strength, good health, Lord God, and protection, that all the days of her life, she will experience the strength that comes from your presence because the joy of the Lord will always be her strength. We thank you also, God, for Sister Lina Yoshoka as she completely heal and restore all her children, Lord God. Thank you that physically, emotionally, and spiritually, they will be restored and that, God, they will continue to walk in the path you have prepared for them. Thank you also, Lord God, for your divine protection as they travel to work, Lord God, every day that your angels, O oh God, have been commanded concerning them to keep them and to guard them from any kind of danger. Thank you that you will always be their refuge and their fortress. 
We also lift up to you, God, Sister Zenaida Madarang. Thank you so much, Lord, for healing her from high blood sugar. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping her body strong. And thank you, Lord, that she will enjoy long and satisfying years of life and life worth living. We also pray, Father, for Sister Lita Gomez. Thank you, God, for a negative result of her CT scan and all other laboratory tests that she will be having. Thank you so much, O oh God, for restoring her body in its original condition. Thank you, Lord, that by your wounds, Sister Lita has been healed. We also ask, Lord God, that you will bless all the work of her hands, that she may be able to pay all her dues, oh God, her monthly dues, and that she'll be able to buy a new laptop that she could use for her productivity. And thank you, Lord, that you will give her the desire of her heart to have her own dream house. Thank you, Father, that nothing is impossible with you, but you will meet all the needs of your people according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We love you, Father, and we thank you for answering the prayers of your people. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow for another time of prayer. Thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure to have you. And we're looking forward to having you join us again tomorrow for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. Now, before we go, we'd like to ask again, if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. Or if you have any testimony, anything good that the Lord has done in your life, please let us know. We would love to rejoice with you. We believe that God is always working out for the good of those who love Him and is working things out for your good. It will always end in praise. God loves you. Let's close in prayer. Father, I lift up to you my brother and my sister. Thank you that you're the God who brings to completion the work that you have started in them. And Lord, no matter how long this quarantine lasts, you are God and you will sustain us to the end. Your promises sustain us to the end. Your hand sustains us to the end. Thank you, O oh God that you sustained my brother, you sustained my sister. And I pray, O oh Lord, that as their hearts are filled with joy, their hearts are filled with hope and assurance, knowing that you are the God who sustains them. Lord, let them just continue to blossom and flourish, even in these times, that when this whole quarantine lasts and people and, his, and their friends see them, they will be amazed because they did not just survive, they thrived. And it's because of the life that you let flow into them. I lift them up to you, Lord. Thank you so much for blessing my brother and my sister. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. The Lord loves you. We'll see you again tomorrow for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. Moments to Remember Moments to Remember Moments to Remember